Hello guys, Mechanized.it here today. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial video showing people how to use some of my mods. Um, I have a mod pack out on the Steam Workshop for Space Engineers. If anybody's interested, they can just look in the description. There should be a link. Um, first of all, I'm going to go through some of the blocks I have, um, and then I'm going to show you how to set them up, and we'll go from there. Um, as you notice, I have converted this station into a ship. Um, a lot of people are having issues where they will place my blocks, um, like this rack here, or a gear uh, with the spindle assembly, and they will remove the block that's connecting it to the ship or the station, and they'll notice that nothing is going to move, um, and that's because those blocks are still going to be station blocks, and they're not going to move. Um, so you're going to want to convert your station to a ship, if you're going to build on a station, you're going to have to find another way um, to get these blocks to be free floating. Uh, the easiest way to do that, uh, of course, would be to use like a piston or a rotor because the top part, um, the part that moves, is already a ship. It's already converted into a ship block. Um, the base of those blocks are still station blocks, but if you build off of a rotor or piston, those blocks in that and that grid will be free moving. Okay, so you can see here I have a rack set up with some gears. Um, this is a pretty easy setup actually. Um, you can see how this would be used as a door. There's a gears on each side. Um, I'm not using any rotors. I'm using my spindle assembly. Um, and here you can see this block right here is the medium gear center block. Um, I added the function of uh, gyro to that block so um, you can put a power source on it and you can set the yaw and it will begin to spin. So let's go ahead and start that up and I'll show you that real fast. So here we have the medium center block. Um, you can see there's the reactor and there's the block. Um, if you go in here and go to override, turn override on, um, Turn the yaw either direction, which way you want to go. I think we want to go this way. Um, and then we'll turn that on. And it'll start to spin. And there you go, it's moving it right there just with the gyro function. Um, it's not very powerful. Um, I could increase the power of this gyro function a little bit. Um, but if you put enough of them, um, you can do a lot of work with just one gyro block. Um, if I turn this one on over there it would help too. So let's turn the power up on here and then we'll turn it all the way up and we'll turn the other one on too. So here we go, 30 RPM. Let's see if that'll get spinning. Now I put two of those medium gear center blocks on this and it should make it this one twice as powerful. Now this baby should just fly. I don't. You may need more. I don't know. It depends on what you're going to do. Um, let's quickly show you how to set up the spindle that's allowing this to free spin. The spindle assembly is basically two blocks. There is a spindle and a spindle hub. Okay. So let's go in. We'll grab those real fast. First thing you want to do is grab your spindle and you'll notice that it will actually be offset one block. Um, when you place it right there is where I placed it, this block space is occupied by the spindle. Okay, um, So if you remove the block that's underneath that, the spindle is going to be detached. Um, unless there's a block on, the, on one of the sides holding it. Um, okay, So you can't place any blocks there. It's taken up. Um, I had to do this because uh, whenever I put the spindle hub on, um, it allows it to be all in the space of one block. Otherwise, I could have made this um, two blocks tall and just put a spindle and the spindle hub on top of that. Um, so that's why that's the way that is. Now, the spindle hub I just placed, I placed it right where the spindle appears to be. Um, and it is welded to this ship right now. 
what I'm going to have to do to get it to be free of the ship is just remove the block that I placed it on. Um, the spindle hub will not connect on the sides, um, so you don't have to worry about any blocks that are next to it. It only connects on the bottom and the top, so once we've removed that block, it should not be connected to the ship. It should freely spin. Um, we're going to go ahead and place this sh um, back. It will not connect back to this spindle hub. Um, so it should be free now. Let's go ahead and put a medium center gyro block on top of that. And we'll throw some power on. Okay, so I put a power source on here. I'm going to go in and we're just going to select the medium gear center. And we're going to turn the yaw up to. And let's go all the way. Now, this might eventually break the spindle hub. I haven't tweaked all of these blocks perfectly, uh, and they're they're going to break. Um, it depends on how durable they are, how much weight is connected to them, um, the collision boxes, um, the tolerance between the spindle hub and the spindle. Um, but there you go. That's the basic setup. It should be pretty simple. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is the hinge. I think um, the hinge is just a simple block it'll be placed on its sides like that or on the bottom okay um, not on the ends it will not place on the ends and it will not place upside down um, the same thing with this if you want it to move it's got to be placed on a ship and not a station all right and we're just going to lay down a line of these Remove those and there they go they're free floating alright that's pretty simple as well um, I'm going to show you the medium gear the medium gear here is on the spindle hub assembly just like I showed you that setup um, the medium gear is made up of four different kinds of blocks there are two kinds of corners a side and a center um, the center one here is red, uh, the side is this light gray, and the two corners are the blue and the green. Um, the side, you will place um, one here on one side and one on the other side. All you have to do is rotate those around, um, but when you bring them over here, this side and the opposite side, you have to flip them over so that the face that's on the bottom will be on the top, um, and then turn those accordingly. Um, the corners, all you have to do is do opposite corners with each corner block um, and turn those. You'll notice one of these corner blocks has five teeth and one has four teeth. So that is why there are two corner blocks. Um, let's go ahead and start this one up and get it spinning using yaw. It's already set to override. And there it goes. Um, all right. Um, think if there's anything else I need to tell you about that. I guess not. Uh, let's talk about the rack and the rails. Uh, that should be the last thing. We'll grab. Oh, I heard something break. that has torn itself away. Yeah, see those those may still be a little bit, you know, off as far as their durability and the way they're set up. But I'll work with that and see if I can't get them to, you know, be more stable for for building stuff. Um, we'll do a blast rack, a where is it? Blast rail. And I'm going to show you basically how I set that up, okay? This is going to be the base, the bases for the blast rails. The rails are the little blocks over here that hold the rack in place. And you'll notice there's a groove in the rack, and that's where the rails go, okay? Now if you do this right, you shouldn't have to move anything into place. You can build everything uh, in their proper place and then 
delete blocks to uh, to free up the rack. Uh, we'll just start the rack off of that block right there. Turn around, flip it over. And you'll see it, it as long as everything is connected to the same grid, um, you won't have any interference. Um, if I disconnected this, the rack, um, by removing this block before I place this block here, I'll show you. If I do that, then I'm not going to be able to place this block here. Um, just because they're two separate grids and they, there's overlap from the, the boxes, okay? So if you want them to be easily placed, do not remove what's holding it to the same grid as your guides, your rail guides, okay? That way it makes it easier to place. Now I'm going to remove it. Remove that, extend this out. Now, I'm not going to put the gears on. If I was going to put these gears on with the spindle assembly, I wouldn't have removed that yet. Um, that would have made it easy for me to just set up the spindle assembly. Um, what I did over here, whenever I did set this all up, I had the spindle hub still connected. I didn't delete the block that was under it. Um, I placed the gears. The rack was still you know, part of the ship. Everything was still part of the same grid. When I had it all set up, then I removed the block that was behind or underneath the hub, and I put it back. And it, and then I removed the block that the rack was holding the rack to the ship. Okay, and then it became free, and then the gears became free. But if I wouldn't have done that, it would have been hard to set this whole thing up. So if you're trying to build something complicated, keep everything connected to the same ship, to the same grid and then remove it when you're ready um, when you think you have everything built let's throw some power and the thruster on and we'll just get this thing moving I'll show you it's free it's no longer connected to the ship so that is the basics of my mods um, the key thing to remember is building on stations and try to keep things connected to the same grid at all times until you're ready for things to move and then remove the blocks that you built them on okay let's turn the thruster up on this there she goes all right um, if anybody has any more questions if they want me to do anything more specific uh, show them how to build something if they need help just uh, let me know on the forums and on the workshop, and I'll see what I can do. Um, like I said, I'm going to tweak this mod, these mods a little bit more so that everything is more durable, everything spins and works together. Um, this spindle has been going for a while. I had trouble where it was breaking a lot, um, so I think that might be okay. If I have to, I'll just uh, tweak it some more. Okay? Alright, well... Hope this helps you guys. We'll see ya.